Okay, it's Jessica with a refresh charm again. So I have put white on this coffee table over the blue. Um, I have a decorative design that I want to do um, that's not very normal. I'm going to place a stencil on the top and then I'm going to distress both the white and the stencil together to peep through to the blue. So I need to get this um, stencil on in the various colors. I'm going to be using a natural sponge because I don't want the the paint to be completely um, solid on the piece. I want it to be a faded look already, so using a sponge is going to help me do that. I'm going to blend a few colors into the stencil. I'm going to do Yankee Blue, Bunker Hill Blue, Dusty Blue, and Paint Blue. And as I work with these, we'll see how the colors go. Now, I just want to show you down here this feature of the decoupage paper. This is where it's going to be. So I wanted to see the white with this. Um, that way I can see this and also work on my stencil up here on the top. Sorry about that. So let's get started let me just get this stabilized real quick for you now when you're going to place a stencil on the top of a coffee table you need to find your center point so i'm going to measure the coffee table long ways and width ways so it is 49 and a half inches long so half of that is 25 and a quarter so I'm going to measure the 25 and a quarter, and I've got a pencil, let's see, 25 and a quarter from end to end is going to be about there. Let's get this just right. Okay, I'm put a little mark, and then we're going to measure this way. about 30 inches, so 15 is going to be my center, so fifteen needs to be, oh. well, I got that on the first try. So now that I have it centered, have this little medallion here in the center that I'm centering it on. Let me move the camera forward. Okay. So right here is my center. That way I can see. Now what I'm going to do is tape this down. Let me grab some painter's tape. And I'm going to use the delicate tape, delicate edges from 3M. I'm just going to tape this down because I don't want that to go anywhere while I'm pouncing on it with the paint. And I think the very center piece is going to be the darkest color. So I'm going to use the Bunker Hill Blue for that. Now, the only thing about this is, is this now actually perfectly? So you can take the edge of your stencil and measure at a certain point. So that's five inches. Let's move that just a little, sorry. So there to there is five inches. There to there is five inches. Five inches. Okay, so you know, I was looking at a different area of the stencil, so which is good because my stencil was going to be crooked. So we are going to figure this out real quick. So if we need that center point to be in the center, but we need this to be placed. Let's see. That's better. Five inches. 
No, that needs to go up some more. <clears throat> my friends would say that this is my OCD talking. Okay, so that's centered now. And that's just a little bit of a difference, but that is, you know, before it was straight, but it was, when you measure it, it's not perfectly straight. So, I'm going to shake up the Bunker Hill. Let's see, let's get this open. Ugh. I've used this before and there's a skin on it. So I'm just going to pour some out. You don't need too much. Okay. And where did my paper towels go? I'm going to clean up the side so that we can get the jar back on. I mean the lid back on the jar. Alright, now with the sponge you want it to be nice and wet. So I'm going to spray it down squeeze it so it's all nice and wet I have, of course I already got blue on my hands I'm gonna dip this just a little and I'm gonna pat it off so dip and just pat off so you get not a ton on the, the sponge so dip it into your paint take it off pat it down and then you can start stenciling. I mean, yeah. You can just kind of pounce it. Now remember, I'm not doing a solid stencil. I want this to look old. So pouncing it and not having a solid color is not gonna hurt my feelings at all. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now since I put this stencil in the center every which way, I can now build off of this and know that the pattern is going to be fine. You just stretch out some of this darker blue since I already have it on. I'm just going to go ahead and offload that in the different areas that we want. You can grab a little bit more paint, offload it if it seems to get sticky. Spray the sponge and spread it out over. You see how pretty it is even on the plate. <clears throat> so then just keep working. Random is your friend. I'm gonna move this so I can get this corner. Some of the other areas are more darker, so I'm just going to pat that down. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to use another color. Let's see. Let's go with the dusty blue. Let's shake that up. Always shake. And we're going to pour some on the plate. You know what? Yeah, we're going to pour some on this plate. You can end up with a lot of plates. Okay. You're going to spray your sponge again. Now, if you want to offload your sponge, you can. Just take a paper towel and kind of take off some of that, the darker color. You can also have multiple sponges if you want. I don't really care because I'm, this is supposed to be a mix of colors anyway, so I'm totally fine with it. I'm going to put a little bit of dusty blue on and let's see, yeah, I'll use this plate again and just pat it off. You don't want too much on your sponge. You know, let me get another plate. There, now I'm prepared. I have another plate. 
And that way you can kind of see what color it is going to be. So now I have a good amount. And we're going to keep, we're going to bring that color in and do it right over the darker color in some areas. more spray them our sponge I don't want it too wet but I want it to pick up some of that color okay. and I'm finishing kind of covering up the entire stencil with this color because I'm gonna bring the lighter color in after Okay, so same sponge. You can see the two colors on it. Now we're going to bring in, so we've got Bunker Hill Blue, Dusty Blue, and I'm going to bring a little Haint Blue in because it is a, a white table. Shake that up. Ooh, don't need that much, but okay. Then I'm going to take another plate to offload with. I am going to spray the sponge, get it wet again. Let's see. Let's offload the sponge as much as possible. I hope you guys aren't afraid of getting paint on you because I work messy. So, all right. Now I got all that off, as much as I can off. Dip it into the paint blue. And then I'm going to offload onto a new plate. color is very bright almost looks white okay and then I'm gonna go over and just put this kind of fill in some areas to give it some depth this is going to be more of a hint of color instead of you know oh there's color there and this multicolored um, effect is going to give it a lot of interest. Okay, so that is done. Let's take a look. You can see the different colors. All right, so let's remove the stencil and see what it looks like on the red light. Beautiful. Look how beautiful that is.